Welcome to Quite Great TV and our guide to Cambridge. We're going to introduce you to independent and not so independent outlets in Cambridge, people who specialise in cheese, people who specialise in jewellery, people who specialise in men's shoes, women's shoes, all the brands that you should know about. If you're coming to visit Cambridge or if you just happen to live in Cambridge and you want to find out that little bit more about the interesting people who run the all-important retail side of the city, then check out Quite Great TV and our guide to Cambridge. I think you'll enjoy it. And if you don't, find something else to do. Anyway, see you soon. Bye. Is this working with the whole hair to the side thing? We're here in one of the most picturesque areas of the whole of Cambridge. It's raining, should we get an umbrella? We should get an umbrella. Is my hair okay? We are here in one of Cambridge's most picturesque streets, Morden Street. We'd like to maybe pronounce it as Magdalen, but we pronounce it Morden. Why is that, you may ask? Well, I think I have the answer. It turns out that the Normans carried over the silent G when they uh, conquered us in the 1066. Perhaps it carried the silent G, or perhaps it was just a lot of wine. I don't know. Anyway, come follow me. Now, I'm about to meet Elijah, who is a fantastic mixologist, and he's about to show me a thing or two about how to make the perfect cocktail. Come follow me. Now with Elijah. Now Elijah, cocktails have become quite a trend nowadays. It's everywhere, on TV, in the magazines. Now what do you think it is about cocktails that keeps drawing people back in? People can get a different cocktail every single time they try and get a cocktail. They can come to a bar, any different bar, different bartender, they, anything they want. Now, and would you say that cocktail making is actually an art? Absolutely, yeah. I think uh, it's, well, it's taken me 15 years to, to learn how to make some cocktails, so yeah, absolutely. And, and do you have to have a sophisticated, developed taste palette to know what flavours go together? Absolutely not. I think everyone starts from, uh, from scratch and I think you, you build that as you go along in your career behind the bar. Okay, so if I were to try and combine two different flavours, would you have to tell straight away if that was going to work or not? Uh, kind of. Yeah, I'd give it a try, yeah. Okay. Now, I've always wondered how to make the perfect cocktail and, you know, the festive season's coming up, mm. there's going to be lots of parties and I, and I really want to impress my friends. So, if I were to say I wanted a cocktail with a fusion of vanilla and mint and stuff, would, would you know? Would you know the thing to do? Well, with the the mint and the vanilla, I reckon we can go for a uh, passion fruit and vanilla mojito. Bingo! Challenge set. Let's go. So, first of all, we need four pieces of lime. Just like okay. Yep. Okay. Do that. Drop those in the glass over there. Next, a little spoonful of sugar. So far, so good? Yeah, I think so. This is okay. Yep, yeah, it's done all right yeah. there. Next, a little dash of soda. Right, Thank you very much. Next thing, the most important part is the rum. There you go. Okay, right, there we so go. I'm going to do it this way you do, you know, sure, yeah. all this stuff. Yeah, is that, is that yeah, good? Yeah, that's good. I just yeah, want a little yeah, bit yeah. too much. Yeah, right. that, that'll do. Okay. That'll do. <laughs> right. Next thing is that uh, you grab your muddle up, take out one of these, pop the glass near the bottom. Mud it gently a little bit. Do you get your rage out on this? Is this like can anger do, management? Can do. I'm just a very calm person. Right, I see. Because of my hair's Right. Enough. Yeah. Enough. That's okay. good. That's good. Okay. Okay. Next thing, can you get some crushed ice? Yep. Shovel of ice. Yeah, that's it. Is there a way to do it? Do you have to do it in much? Just throw it in there. Oh, oh, right, yeah. That'll do? Yeah. <clears throat> That'll be absolutely yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. Nice. Good. Okay. Next. Next thing. Right. Yes. Using this end. This you can just go for the, uh, the other side. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. Flat end down. There you go. Oops. Mistakes. Turn it. Just throw it all over the place if you yeah, like yeah, to. Yeah, but you know, that's, that's good. Then you take yourself a little handful of mint. Mint? Mint. Yeah. Pour that into a little ball here. Yeah. In your hands. And clap it. Okay, give it two. There you go. Drop that on top. Next thing. So this sort of twisted classic, you put a bit of a vanilla syrup mm -hmm. over the mint. That. Okay. There we go. Okay. It's a little bit on top of the mint. Like that? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Too yeah. Much? That's a bit much, okay. but okay. it's going. Okay. Next thing, a bit of passion fruit syrup, just on the side there. Why on the side? Is that just, just on the side? Just so you don't sort of you, the mint and the vanilla is going to kind of get together. They're going to be friends. Okay. Know each other. Hang out. That's, that's, is that how you work with cocktails? You yeah, absolutely. Kind of they're, they're, them. Yeah, they're individuals. You know, they need yeah. to be careful. Okay. Oh, yeah, great. I agree. Cool. So now that we're there, take your spoon again. Yep. Flat end first. Yep. 
paste and churn it all the way through. Mix that cocktail. And then, one more scoop of crushed ice on the top. Yes, yes, I can always. Is that okay? Is that cheetah? Oh, no. Is that cheetah? Oh, no, that's cheetah. Okay. Thank you very much. Inside there. And a straw. Straw. And so the other sides. And then you're done. Ah, oh, is that is that how you make that the, uh, is. the the That's perfect how you make it. Oh, there we have it. There you the go. perfect mojito passion fruit vanilla twist mix. Or the passion fruit vanilla mojito. Yeah, all that. Either all one. that. Yeah. yeah. Time to taste the pros. Mm. That's perfect. Now, punting. Everybody knows about punting in Cambridge, but do they really know where punting comes from? No, of course they don't. Why should you? Well, it is said that one day, a good old Cambridge fella went to Venice he went to the Doge's palace and he said, Oi, Doge, what can I do to bring a bit of uh, culture back to Cambridge? So he went to the Doge and he said, Look, do something for me. Doge said, I know just the thing. Took out this guy, Jack, let's call him Jack, punting. And he said, this, this is it, really. I need to bring back a gondola to Cambridge. And so he got on his boat and he travelled all the way up the Mediterranean, all around the Atlantic, all up the British Channel, all up the Thames, and somehow transported the gondola back onto Cambridge with uh, coach and horses or something, whatever. Anyway, that's what it is. Venetian gondolas, but in Cambridge, come with me. And this is a really cool shop where you can get all your British needs. Like tea and umbrellas and scarves and earrings of Big Ben. But Big Ben's not in Cambridge, don't get confused with that. Now, Mercedes, who runs the shop, she's kind of like the Sherlock Holmes of the lingerie world, you could say. You'll see what I mean. Come on in. Hi, how are you? Yeah, nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Hi. I'm Mercedes. I'm Corinna. My name is Mercedes. I'm the owner of Proby the Lingerie. I've been in the shop for six years and within those years I've been awarded for so many awards and one big one was, which is a national for uh, best newcomer in the lingerie industry, um, UK and Ireland. So Mercedes, yeah. um, I'm in desperate need of a brand new set of lingerie. Oh perfect, so you are in the right place, so what do you like? I'm just confused, I don't know what these numbers mean, Right. and I just need a little help with that. I'll bring you lots of beautiful ones and see which one is the best for you. Perfect, I'm really excited. Well come with me to the fitting room. The brand that I am wearing is about nine years old. Oh my god! <laughs> so Jesus, how how long does it last that bra? Yeah, well, I, I should probably get a new one because it's it's kind of like the straps are getting loose. Oh, uh, so everything is it's probably everything is loose in there. I'm telling you. Oh dear. That's why people say when they come in Mercedes, don't be embarrassed of my brother. Look at my bra and say that's fine. Yeah. Come on, you just probably, you probably need a new one. one, yeah, definitely. I think I've horrified Mercedes, <laughs> unfortunately, and I'm going to go away just, just a little bit embarrassed after today. <laughs> <laughs> what we're proud of uh, this shop is our service, so the ladies that will come uh, without any idea of what they're wearing or what they should be wearing, and they come here for the advice. So we spend a oh. lot of time uh, fitting them and giving them the best laundry for them. Our brands are all European brands, which I believe are the best ones, especially French. This is a brand, Simone Perel, Obart, Mary Jo, we do the Stella Macarani, Chantal Thomas. So Mercedes has brought me a fine selection of bras that she thinks will be tailored to my personality and style. Come on, on shoot! Which one are you decided to take? I, to me, the best one it was this one. And you, I think, is is extremely beautiful lace, very elegant, very edgy. 
is a, a brand from Paris, very fashionable. It's called Chantal Thomas. I think this one was the best. What do you think? Absolutely, that's exactly my style. It's you know, it's not too you know, it's it's the right side of sexy, is what I'd say. You know, it's kind yeah. of sophisticated sexy to me. So are we going for the for this bra then? The key is just to come have fun with us and come out very happy and proud of your body and the way you are. And there you have it, Mercedes Guide to Finding the Perfect Lingerie. I'm a very happy customer. I've just come out with a brand new set just for me. And now we come to the part of the tour we've all been waiting for, the round church. Do you think maybe that's the right church? I'm not, I'm not convinced by it. I feel that's a little bit of a tourist con, really. There's nothing bloody round about it. I mean, it's got little round spires and little round thing, but it's not really round. I think this is a big con. Now we come to the most important part of the tour, the sweet shop. <laughs> it looks like a bit of a, like a round church. Oh, oh, it's the round church. We found it, the round church. 